Jorge Linares in the black. Devin Haney in the white. Left hook for Linares as Haney goes to the body. Yeah, one thing Linares said, scar tissue around his eyes. He gets cut in basically every fight he had. I like the check hooks that Linares throwing. Two check hooks. Check the chin of Devin Haney, something no one's been able to do. Linares looking for a quick little check hook. He landed a flash left hook right there, but that's a short right hand that put Morales down. A swing and a miss with the left hook for Linares. of Devin Haney, Devin's father and longtime trainer. A few months ago, there were some social, including, as we just saw, Ben Davison, who boxing fans will remember, is the... And then he sticks an uppercut on the inside. Haney looking so oh. sharp right now. Leno told us that he felt he's still faster than Haney, even at 35. That doesn't appear to be the... From a straight right hand. As I said, Morales went down twice from right hand. We've seen just a lot of... Right now, Haney looking every bit of a 10 to 1 favorite. Smart, he's bucked. Yeah, this is just a, a nice performance on both their parts. And listen, I'm not BSing you. I've never had a better training camp in the 35 years. Of Round three, scheduled for 12. Have you seen anything that has surprised you so far, Chris? Nope. For Haney to work there. And it was Jorge Linares who started. Defensive moves by Devin Haney. Just hit the shot and step away from the big count. Haney is always too. Linares felt that he had the combination to Devin Haney's safe here tonight. He'd be able to see Ben Davison in the lower corner, the trainer, the Josh That's Taylor, right. assisting. As well, he gets a little bit. He gets James from every single great trainer he's trained with. From Mayweather Senior, Eddie. Linares just can't get close enough to land his power punches. Against a formidable, confident former champion, Linares. Closer to Haney and throw that short right. That's his best weapon, or at least one of Averaging six landed punches per round through the first three. Six. That's ring generalship. That's when you're in control. You're doing exactly what you want to do in that. Get confidence well, landing somewhere. For the last Samurai. Nice left hook from Haney. The former three division world champion. Let's look at Chris Mannix's unofficial score for Haney. Lenar still looking for that left hook. I don't think he's going to land it anymore. Haney's aware of it. Right behind the jab. He's using his skill, but he's staying in the pocket a lot more than I've seen. Or the stoppage. We're not going for to hurt his opponent. Well, maybe that's why he's fighting a little bit more. Haney's previous few fights. Stop! Let go! Stop! Now we're letting go. Stop! Yeah, Linares took that punch well. And one thing to remember is that while he has been... Yeah, Haney's giving Linares opportunities to land something big because he's getting aggression. Oh, Haney would run. He has in front, not. In front. Watch his in front. Nice right hand, followed by a left hook. That was timing right there. Linares is getting the turn pro because they couldn't turn pro at 17 here. Left hook there from this is what round it is. Jorge Linares has knockout power. So these punches are still. Clean. Jab to the body for seven. Again downstairs. Now I like that combo. Different jabs. I think Teal Teal Fimo has a, a, a power jab that that they were like. Strong words from the Latin Snake, former junior middleweight champion of the world. Showing the scene tough, coming forward, fighting on the inside, going for the big shots. Blue light. Step puts him in the back there. Oh! You know, Lenar said all week that he didn't think Devin. When you make weight properly and you're in great shape, 
with body shots by Haney. Yeah, Haney is sitting down on these power punches now. He wants Haney to be aggressive. He wants openings. And this is what we want from Haney, for him to be aggressive. That's three straight right hands. Four now that Haney landed to Orlando. He's having success, especially with that right hand. Dropping Lomachenko. But there's a soft spot in the three. To fight. Stop, let go, let go. Eight rounds. I'm sensing a big round by Devin Haney here because it's to Linares. Oh, Linares showing some flair. Like that, that's anticipated. Linares go into his bag of tricks one more time and find a way somehow to... Stop! Back up. Haney wants that uppercut again, doesn't he? Ten seconds to go here in round nine. Left hook. Still has a good look on his eye. Bounce on his step. Okay, stop. Let's a go. snap to his punch. Good body shot earlier by Linares. Touching him upstairs. Go Guys, keep it clean. That's the longer jab of Haney was going to dominate. But he didn't want to stay inside too long and possibly... Side of Haney going forward, putting the pressure on, getting hit, showing he has no to knock him out. Yeah, no criticisms here. Haney's doing his part to get the stop. He's coming. Mostly dominated in this fight, but had a great round 10 and has Haney stairs. Look for that right hand over the top. Caught him again. Caught him again. Double. Haney still doesn't quite look right, does he, Chris? No, he doesn't look right. Let Haney hang on to you and get that second win going into the 12th. Linares is looking for that. Time is Haney's best friend right now. Back. He's showing gumption. He should have done that earlier when Haney was still shook. Stop. Seven points. He's going to deduct a point. Okay. Six inch short right hand set up by a jab downstairs. That's the punch that he's been looking for. Sit through this round, he wins the fight. And he caught Linares with a left. Showing curve. Looks a lot Echo. stronger. Rick. Linares trying to set up that short right hand. He's being patient, but is he being too go, patient? Yes, he is. Jab from Linares. And again, Haney holds on. Two hands this. Ten seconds left. 